What's up guys, Steve Cook here in Fitness Culture with the Fitness Culture app coming to you guys today all about leg day. I've had back issues for a while now. Um, part of it is genetics, part of it is also my lack of mobility work, lack of warming up properly, and just general neglect. I'm gonna take you guys through a leg workout today that I will either have the full leg workout that you guys can do, or if you do have back issues like myself, you can work some of these other things into it. So we're gonna take you through this warm up right now. You guys can follow along. We're gonna give you the app on the side here, exactly what to do. First thing we're gonna do, single leg squats with a slider. I'm gonna be holding onto this. If you can do it just here, by all means, do that. If you need to hold on to one of these, if you have a back issues, you wanna make sure that you're just keeping nice upright and you're not getting off balance, causing your back to take over. So just straight out to the side and back up. Trying to keep your heel down on the working leg. We go six on each side here. Main thing we don't want to have is our knee caving in. You don't want that. We're gonna force that knee nice and wide. Back up. All right, next thing we're gonna do for warm up is our rotational side plank. You can see I've stacked my legs, my knees, my hips are off the ground, supporting on the elbow. Elbow and shoulder is all in the same line. From there, hand behind the head, rotate, touch, back up. We got 10 on this side. The next thing, warming up our groin, our adductors. What we do is set up shoulder width apart. The foot that you're gonna be pressing the plate with could be a little bit ahead of the other one, about I'd say a foot ahead. And then from there, you're gonna pick up and slide across. And then just step, exact opposite, slide back. One thing you wanna make sure you're doing is crossing over with your foot, warming up that groin. We got 10 here, each side. If you guys thought that last one got you some weird looks in the gym, this one's definitely gonna get you some weird looks. This is the Bulldog Complex. It's gonna be great to open up those hips. What we're gonna do is we're gonna concentrate without twisting too much. Coming up, raising the hips as high as possible, just like you're a dog, peeing on a fire hydrant. We got five on this side. And again, nice and controlled all the way up. And then switch sides. Once you do five on that side, we're gonna come out here, back to the starting one, kick the leg straight back. You should feel this in your glutes, and then come down to the side. Straight back, bend the knee, keep it as high as possible, and come back here. Once you do five on the other side, we're gonna go the exact opposite. We're gonna come out, and then kick back, back down. All the way out, kick back, and then back down. Again, five on this leg, five on that leg. From there, we're gonna finish up with a straight out to the side and just lifting about a foot off the ground, coming back down and that'll really target more of the hip flexors there. So you go around all the way, each leg, five reps on each. It is German volume training. We've been on this swole program and this is our phase. It's all been volume, volume, volume. So. Leg day, nothing different. You better strap it up because a volume day for legs is like anything else. It's, it's not too bad when you're bench pressing, incline pressing, and you got 10 sets of 10. When you're back squatting and you got 10 sets of 10 at 65% of your one rep max, you better check your ego. Now, you can start at about 55% of your one rep max, and if that's if you get you know five sets, go up to 65% for the last five sets. But today, we're supersetting back squats with good morning. So and it's all about tempo. So on the back squats, we have a three seconds on the way down and that's not one, two, three. That's 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, up, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. So we're not pausing at the bottom. It's gonna take you about one second to stand up and then three seconds back down. So it's a three, zero, one, zero tempo. Three, zero at the bottom, one second on the way up, zero at the top. Now we're supersetting it with a GHR, so that's a glute hamstring raise. This bad boy is the GHR. 
And what we're gonna be doing on this is a 90 degree back extension. So you're gonna to wanna to set it up to where your, your chest, none of your upper body is leaning on the pad. So as you can see, just my thighs are on the pad. From there, we're gonna go all the way down and starting with the glutes, flex the glutes and come up to that 90 degree right there. So all the way down, get a good stretch, engage the glutes, squeeze, come up to 90 degrees. We got 10 sets of 10 on this one. It's 1,001, 1,002, zero at the bottom, one second, and then 1,001, 1,002, zero time at the bottom, one second, come up, zero time at the top. So it's a two, zero, one, zero tempo. We actually have explanations for all that in the app. So if you're following the app, good for you guys. If you're not, you should probably check it out right now. So 10 sets of 10 on each. I am gonna be substituting the back squats because I'm training smarter, not harder. This is a rogue shark squat. I'm gonna be doing my squats on this. Pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference is, obviously, instead of having weight on my back, we are pulling from this cable. I'm gonna pull and engage the machine. It's gonna be now pulling down on me. Kind of almost tractioning my lower back, so instead of compressing it, it's gonna be kind of pulling, and I'll be getting nice and low, 90 degrees on that. Three seconds down on this. So nothing's different for me, it's just I'm doing this instead of a back squat. So we're gonna jump in that right now, 10 sets of 10. Rest one minute in between each completion. So here, straight to the 90 degree back extension. Rest a minute, back here. Next superset, we're starting off the Kazakh squat. What we're gonna do here, take a very wide, almost like a, a sumo deadlift type stance on here. We're gonna be nice and low, starting off on one foot, without coming up, just transitioning to the other foot. So the foot that's away from you, you'll notice that the toe is gonna come slightly up. You wanna make sure you keep all of the weight on this leg that's firmly planted. So as we bend that knee, this toe might drift up. That's just fine. What I don't wanna see is, as you come here to stand up at all, or as you come to this side, this knee starts wanting to tuck in. You wanna force that out. So we're sitting up over our, our quads there, forcing it out. Toe is over the knee. Knee is over the toe. And as we just slide back, getting a good stretch in the groin and then pushing back here. So we're gonna be doing it with weight. It's gonna look like this. We've got eight reps each side, and we're staying down the entire time. We don't come up at all. All right, super set with the Cossack squat. We have a hamstring slider curls here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start hips up. From there, we're gonna slide our heels out until our butt is almost touching the ground. Notice I said almost. We never want to let our butt touch the ground here, so we're gonna slide out and then slide back in. Always keeping that butt up, trying to force our hips as high to the sky as we can while performing the movement. It might help if you go your arms wide. One thing I don't want is you pressing too far into the ground with your hands. We got eight here. All right, last superset for legs, We're starting off with a three-way leg press. The first one's just gonna be our standard leg press. Feet are in the middle of the platform here. We got six reps there, and then we're going feet to the top of the platform, and then six reps, and then all the way down. Heels slightly off the platform, six reps there. We're gonna have two seconds on the negative here. No pause at the bottom. One second on the concentric. No pause at the top. So it's gonna look something like this. Pressing through the heels the entire time. All the way down, two seconds, up, two seconds down, two. Walk those feet to the top. I'm not putting the weight back down, straight into it. And then for the hardest one, feet go to the bottom of the platform, two seconds. Legs should be burning, heading straight over to the leg curl or leg press. I can't talk, leg extension. We got one and a quarter, so all the way up. Control it on the way down, a quarter way, back up, and that's one rep. A lot of time under tension, a lot of volume today. All right, that is it. 12, 10, eight on there. You know it's a good leg day. 
Like we've said before, when all the definition just runs out of your legs, and then just jelly. So we got a total of 18 reps, 666. Six, six. Jumping over here, 12, one and a quarters, 10, and going back and forth. So you'll do a set there, then 12, set there, then 10, set there, then eight, and then you're gonna die. That's it for quads and hamstrings today, but it's not it for calves of saurus. You gotta get some big calves. We go barefooted on the seated calf raise. This is working a lot of that soleus. This is gastrocnemus. We're working into that soleus here. We're gonna go here and then we're just gonna flip it around and work that tibialis muscle here. So biggest thing to remember on calves, get that stretch at the bottom. Get that stretch, Achilles heel, push those, those heels down and then up onto your big toe. All the way down, stretch them two seconds, all the way up and then control it. Stretch, explode, back down. I'm doing this entire set with toes point, pointed forward. And then the next set, I'll have toes slightly out. The last set, toes slightly in. And we're just gonna switch it around. So we're here, all the way up, all the way down. This is light enough. I should really just go single leg. Can you see it working? You see that tibialis? Ugh. Knee is straight over the toe. Bring that up as high as can by forcing your heel down on this and then point the toe. <sighs> Again, don't think about necessarily lifting the toe as much as you think about forcing that heel down. I got two more sets of this. I appreciate you guys watching these. Kind of bummed out because my back is pretty, pretty shitty right now, but you gotta find a way to work around it. So I've been biking in the morning, and I'll tell you what, I think my quads have actually gotten bigger since I started biking. The hamstrings need to be brought up a little bit. This is now turning into a physique update. My physique, I'm six foot one, 212 pounds. I have people being like, oh Steve, you're on the gear in Australia in some of those videos. Guys, I'm an average size safety in the NFL. Average size. Those Seattle safeties were way bigger than me. The linebackers, way bigger than me. I'm six foot one, just under, like a hair under six foot one, 212 pounds this morning. Probably eight to 9% body fat. That's doable. You can definitely do that. So, leg day complete. If I tried to dunk a basketball right now, I wouldn't even make it to the net. And that's what you want. That's progress, people. I'm gonna go back and do my calves. And I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get a massage tonight on my lower back. I'm gonna have them work it out because I'm too lazy to foam roll myself. There, I admitted it. I'm a, I'm a bad foam roller. I have a Theragun, I have a masseuse, and that's how I'm gonna get it done.